let's set up Windows for wireless networking. Now, I've got a wireless adapter in my Windows setup here, and this is running Windows 8. In Windows 7, you would typically see the network adapter down here at the bottom, and you could click it, and it would bring up a list of wireless networks. Let me go to settings here, and then you'll see my network is connected, but I've also got a wireless adapter in here as well, so let me click that. And you'll see that I'm connected on my wired side, but here are the wireless networks that I can actually connect to. And let me just connect to one that I know is going to be available here. We're going to connect to this one, and it's going to ask me to connect automatically. I'm just going to say connect. Now it wants to know my security key. Of course, this is where I could do WPS as well, which is the Wi-Fi protected setup but I'm going to just plug in my password, click next, and then of course it's the Windows. Do you want to share anything or not share anything? I'm going to say no. And now I've got my connection here. Now, of course, I can bring up the control panel. I can go to network and internet, and I can look at the network and sharing center. You'll see that I'm connected here via Wi-Fi on that network. Of course, I've got wireless properties that I can take a look at. It tells me the name that I'm connected to, the SSID, that it's an access point. And if I go over to security, we are doing WPA2 personal and AES. And of course, I could change the network security key if I wanted to here as well. So it's pretty straightforward doing Wi-Fi on a Windows system. As I said, you might see that there's an adapter that shows up here in the status bar at the bottom. If you're running Windows 8, of course, you can click on settings. You'll see that there's your network adapter there. You can click on that and bring up your list of Wi-Fi. And I've got my connections here where I've connected to my wireless network. Now, one thing that I'm not seeing here, and this has to do with the adapter that I'm using, I'm not actually getting the 5 gigahertz signals because I'm missing my 5 gigahertz network that I've got locally here with me. This particular wireless adapter doesn't do 5 gigahertz. It does do the 2.4, which is why this list is a little bit shorter than other lists that we've looked at. So once I'm connected, I've got access to do pretty much anything that I want to do, just as if I were on a wired network. Pretty straightforward. Once you've connected to the access point, of course, you can do all of the other things that you would normally do with a wired connection as well. So, for example, I can take a look at my IP config to get my IP address. And if I were to do slash all, I would get all of the information. And actually, you'll see physical address, which is the MAC address that we were talking about earlier.